Sorry, I'll turn it. Is that hanging or? So, okay, so here's, the, here's the most important thing. Number one is your goals. So, what are you trying to achieve in that in that in your skiing or in particularly in that video? Right. So, are you trying to do short turns or long turns? Are you trying to ski moguls? Are you trying to ski powder? Um, you know, and then more specifically, think what movement pattern may you be trying to do? Okay. So I'll let Lynn translate that because that's that's. Uh, Thank you. Bit. Uh, the Otto 说呢，也是希望大家在这里面做一些笔记哈。然后他觉得最重要的一点就是，当你在滑行的时候，你要确定滑行的目标。你这个滑行的话呢，你是要滑什么？啊、呃，是是是这个，呃。用什么样的方式去滑？我是要要滑小弯啊，还是滑中弯或者大弯或者 moguls？ 那这里面是要确定你的一个滑行呃这个运动的一个方式。嗯。The um the second thing is uh and, and this I think is the is one of the most important things we we often forget about is what impression are we trying to make on the snow? So when we ski. We have a, we have our our personality um, comes through in how we ski, and and that's uh, to me that's really important. It um, when I, if you were sitting on a chairlift, and you saw yourself ski down the run, what do you want to look like? Okay, what do you look like? Is it what happens in the video? But what do you want to look like? What do you want other people to see you or how you ski? What's that impression, right? So the impression you leave is kind of the key word. 嗯，那么第二点呢，他是说你要你要想清楚，就是你希望给人留下什么样的一个印象，或者是用什么样的这个印象去滑雪。就假设你自己看自己在这个缆车上看你自己，你希望你滑出什么样的感觉？你给人家什么样的一个，呃，一个一个印象啊？所以你想留下的印象是第二个关键词。第一个是 go， 第二个是 impression。OK。So the um when I ski down the hill, um, I don't. It, it's not the impression is not about. Uh, I want to be balanced on the outside. I want to turn my legs. I want to edge. I want to carve. That's not the impression I want. The impression is more about uh, kind of kind of my objective in skiing. It's the speed uh, that I'm going to go at. Uh, the energy. Uh, do I do I look alive or does it look boring, quiet? Um, what's the what's the turn shape like? What's the what's the rhythm? Does my does if you're sitting in the chair and there's a hundred skiers going down the hill and and somebody's looking at a hundred skiers, does my skiing stand out and and take their eye and want them to look at me because it's good and it's exciting skiing? That's the impression, and and my impression when I ski is I wanna I wanna have. Um, I want to have good speed. Not, I don't have to be the fastest one on the hill, but I want to have. Quick, I want to be quick. I want to show that I have lots of energy when I ski. I want to have a, a lot of rhythm, right? And, and I want to have a high performance type of, of turn. So I'm always moving, and it's fluid and it's smooth. So that impression is really important. And I think if you understand that, then when you go to create a video or you go to ski, that will help you. Be better, and that's something that not only in the videos we're going to look at, but I'm going to work on in these ski camps. 那我们当提到这个印象的哈，其实并不是说哦，我要平衡，我要转腿，我要这个走刃儿这种技术性的东西，而更多呢是在于就是说，呃，是是这种感受。那这种感受就是说，在雪道上滑行。你是很拘谨的，很这个 boring， 就是很很无无聊的滑行，还是一种充满活力的，然后有这种生命力的这种滑行。你给人家传递的是怎样的一种状态？这个的话是他想说的这种 impression。嗯。Okay, I heard you say the word impression. So I think that's a to me it's a really nice word that you you leave with others. 
the kind of the last thing, and it's the thing sometimes we always go to first, and um, it's the, the technical side. And the, and the technical side really is the, the building block. So I had these little technical pieces and I add, you know, uh, in, in, in Canada, in a lot of countries we talk about them as the skills. And I, and I take them and I, I make one piece a little bit better and I add another little block to it and I add another little block to it. And uh, these skills or the, the technical components help me build the objective, which is the kind of the, the we use the word objective as a technical word, but um, as, a, as a goal, but I like, uh, is very, to me, it's very clinical where skiing is very uh, expressive. And um, people have studied skiing and they, uh, they, they say it's very right brain, which is uh, artistic. And sometimes we put skiing in the left brain, which is very like a, an, an engineer or mathematical. And that's how we think of it. But we've got to take that and when we use the skills, we take that one side and we need to put it into the other side. And that's where we're free. When we're in the right brain side, we're, we're free and we flow and we create that exciting impression. Okay. So that's, to me, that's what we're going to look at a little bit today. Mm. Technical skills, 这种技巧, 在他看来的话, 呢, 这些所有的技巧都是为了你形成这样的一个滑雪的这种印象哈, 把它融入到它整个的教学里面去感受他的艺术表现这个的话他认为是我们真正能够享受滑雪而且能够就是在这个里面获得乐趣很重要的点 OK, are we ready? Now, one thing about me I'm passionate about I'm passionate about teaching uh, I love teaching and I love helping people create that exciting impression OK, so we're going to use those those building blocks to look at somebody, and uh, we've got some videos. So um, bear with me because I forget how to do this a little bit. Okay. Okay.那他刚才说呢，就是关于我自己哈，他说我对于滑雪教学非常有热情，他是非常热爱能够帮助别人成功，能够帮助别人的话呢，去享受这个滑雪的这种乐趣。呃，那接下来的话呢，他会
哼，那接下来的话就是 ，sorry sorry， 我的 allow allow me to translate。啊，接下来他会说呢，他会给大家进行一些视频的一些讲解。啊，那这个里面的话呢，他说也并没有什么特别的一些 order 啊，然后也会来去分享。那么我跟他讲的就是说呢，其中啊、呃，我们这里童教练的话呢，他是在，呃，准备三级考试。那么另外有一位 Alex 教练的话呢，他其实三年前应该就过了三级滑行了，所以他现在在准备他的四级滑行的这个在准备。我就给他一个参考。嗯 ，OK， I think we can start. Yeah. Um. You know, if just if, just to remind people, if they've signed up for the camp, um. They can feel free to send me videos, and I can take、uh, take some look at them, and and you know give them some ideas, a few things to work on ahead of the camp. So we'll we'll get everybody as、uh, far along as we can prior to the camp, and then we can develop them strongly in the camp as well. Hey, you are offering more than we agreed. Just two video clips for each individual. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. 那刚才 Otto 说呢， okay. 说是所有就是这个呃注册的这些人的话呢，都可以给他发这个视频，他也会在这个呃这个给大家会有一个反馈。这样的话，大家来呃就参加这个营之前也，也至也更好的知道哈自己现在滑雪水平，怎么为此做好准备。那我跟他说你，你你你你提供多了，我们说提供的只是有两段视频讲解。So also, I would suggest that. Ah, they send me thousands. I might not get to them, but you know. <laughs> so I would suggest that we just make it regular, maybe once a week, so that you you just yeah centrally analyze all the videos, so that everybody can benefit. Okay, so now you share my screen. Is that correct? Are you ready to <laughs> let me let me do this?、Mm -hmm. Try it. Okay. Oh,、uh、oh, here we go. Um, hang on one sec. Okay, can you see that, Lynn? Can you see the? Can you see the、uh, video? Yes, we can see a picture. Oh, it's a video. Yeah, it's a video. Yeah. Okay, so here, here we go. And、um, before I before I play this video, I you know,、uh, one more thing when I, when we're looking at impressions, it. Uh, and and you know as a, and I'm going to just ask people as teachers because I think everybody has some certification on here. What does the slope look like, and what kind of impression can we make on that slope? Because if I'm going to、um, if I if I want to show energy and speed and rhythm and and, and rhythm isn't always short term. Rhythm is sometimes long term. The question I have is, what do you notice about that slope in front of us? There's two parts to it, and the first half is relatively flat, and then I look at the upper part and I go, okay, the first first part is is kind of beginner. I can see the chairlift and the train part, and then I see some nice intermediate terrain. So, in the in the the beginning part here, I can't see.、Uh, I'm not going to generate a lot of speed. So with no speed, I'm, I'm gonna. It's gonna be hard to get energy, right, and perform at at a higher level. If if、uh, and if we look at the skiers in here, all the skiers, they're they're entry level skiers, and so this terrain is made for for them. And for us, we need to be on steeper terrain, but we're gonna use this anyways to start. Um, that 刚才 Otto 就是说他会来看，首先看这个地形，地形的话比较平这一段，然后前边有一段相对还好的一个坡，所以他在这这个看地形来判断，这是是一个很重要的一个依据。And then you know with the video, it's a bit small here. Um, and. Uh, I'm not sure the name of the skier. This is our skier、um, here, and I'm having it. To... 嗯，他说这个里面的话，他也不知道是谁的哈，很多人在群里。嗯。我不知道是不是在群里的。嗯。Um. So. 
I just let, one of the things I start off with is I always kind of look at uh, the legs or the feet of skiers because um, that's what we ski with. We ski with our feet. And when we, when we ski, you know, if you look at good skiers, the feet are side by side. Uh, and, you know, the, the lower body turns and uh, it leads the turning effort. So we're balanced. The lower body leads the turning effort. And I have to, I have to create a bit of turning of both legs in the hip, and then I can angulate. And often we think about uh, angulation uh, first, but really angulation is a result of the, the other two things. Uh, I also look at that inside arm, and that's an indicator. So Lynn, you, you want to interpret that? If you have questions, you ask me. Yeah. 但是当我看滑雪者的时候的话Okay, so um, th this is this is uh, in this in this skier here. I see uh, see a couple of things. So this is just a just a quick one here, right? Um, if I look at uh, What, I, what I've drawn a little bit is um, I've drawn a little bit of direction of um, the outside leg versus the inside leg. And if, if I take those arrows away, which I'll do in a minute, you'll see the outside ski is pointing uh, to the outside of the turn and the inside ski is turned a little bit more. And what happens is the skier has tried to create the turn with the knee. Right? And the, the knee is a joint that only bends fore and aft. It, it doesn't bend inwards. And sometimes there's a mistake, you know, I got to edge, so I edge with the knee. Um, and then as a result, the, the hip and upper body start to turn. And when that does, the, when, the, when the hip and upper body start to lead the turning effort, the inside ski turns more because the outside ski is locked on, on that edge from the knee. And we get that kind of inverted V or inverted, you know, it's the opposite of a snowplow where the tips are together and the tails are apart, tails are together and the tips are apart. Okay. So what we want the skier to do is we want the skier to start the turn by turning both feet. And then we want to move laterally with the hip. And this, this is what's going to um, take you to, to be that um, level four skier. When I, when I roll the knee over on this terrain, Sure, the ski's carved. Okay. Go ahead, Lynn. Okay. 那第二件事情他要看的呢, 他现在画了两条线, 其中第一条线, 就是在这边这条线的话呢, 可以看到这个雪板行进方向是这样子的, 膝盖其实不应该是扭转的 that's the techno side of it. But if I look at the impression overall, the impression overall is kind of riding what the ski does. And this, you know, it'd be nice if it was, we take the turn shape and we go a little bit slower and we go a little bit faster, right? And we have, we add a little bit of rhythm to it. And then that person would stand out in the snow. It's good skiing. I'm, I'm just being really, really picky. But if we look at some other things, the hands are good and the stance is good. 
but these small adjustments, right, will lead to that um, impression. So I think impression, and then we change the stance, we turn the legs a little bit, and then once the legs are, are, are there, I can move quickly and I can add a little bit of rhythm to the turn. Go ahead, Lynn. Uh, so, the 那些人我们看起来都滑得很牛，但它是能够找到每个人的差异和改进的点的。Okay, so now if we um just let's just look at the impression this time, huh? Okay, so we see that uh, again the slope in the foreground is flat, steeper above, but if I look at the turn shape and, and the impression I'm getting from the skier is that there's more energy. Right, and, and look at that. Sure, it's a short term, but see, see the energy, right? Okay, so I see, I see the rhythm. Great. So I think that's a nice place to start. So sometimes we have to pick what we're going to do. Go ahead, Lynn. Hmm. Then,呃，他说这个这个人呢，就是如果我们看总体的印象的话呢，这个呃，其实也是蛮好的。这是一个相对。缓的坡,之前相对陡一些,那它这里面有比较好的一个运力感和这个节奏。Now, uh, this may be a bit far off, but um, sometimes the choice, uh, you know, one of the things about uh, a short turn, um, and, and just by changing our turn shape a little bit, uh, some things start to happen. And, and, and what what is good here is uh, when I when I start to see uh, the skier, I notice this happen. Ah, uh, does not look good. Okay, so you should see my line in there, and um, the skis are edged via the hip. So that's the, that's what gives us the look of of angulation, right? And to get there, uh, you turn your feet first, and that's what sometimes what happens in short turns is I turn my feet first because if I try to edge, I'm going to end up the long turn. So so this ends up being really nice. The other thing is. If I look at my hands, my hands are pretty level. They're going to be tipped a little bit, but both the hands, they're out, out front. One hand isn't dropped. I look at the feet and I don't see uh, a, a white spot in the feet here. I see the feet are together. Feet are side by side. Okay, Lynn? Uh, so allow me to clarify. The first line you draw on the side of skier, you said it's uh, it's edging through a hip, which is not good. Did I get no, you correct? Which, no, no, the edging is good. Edging is good, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Via edging via edging via the, the hip is mm. good. So okay. this is this is really good. Okay. This is a this is a really nice picture. Okay, so when you talk about the hands, so that is uh... so talk about the just talk about the hips. So like like okay, this, yeah, this one by one. Okay, so uh, 他刚才说呢, 说, 其实在小弯过程中我们可能注意到, 哪怕弯形的一点点改变, 都会有非常大的改进, 那么在看这个滑雪者的时候的话呢, 他可以看得到, 他在, 这个走立热的这个过程中的话呢，它是从这个呃腰这边这条线哈，他说这个线呢就是非常好的一个一个表现，嗯，呃，应该不是腰，是 hip， 
，是这个胯关节。Right, so this is the hand. The hands, the hands are are out in front, mm -hmm. and that that's not technique. That's just a result of being in good balance, <clears throat> and that comes from the feet placed side by side. Right, there's no there's no space. There's not one foot is not in front of the other. They're, they're side by side, and this is this is a nice picture. Hmm. Now, 看他这两只手的话呢，他是在前边，而且在这个呃整个的外外边。然后这是其实是说明呢，它的这个滑行是这个是它是一个滑行的结果。那么如果看到它的这个两个雪板的话呢，也是很这个呃并的也非常好的，这是一个滑好的一个结果的一个表现，也是他提到的 impression 印象。That's just. So sometimes the feet are a little bit apart here, but this is better in here, right? Okay. Then, so the see, see, I can see the curve on the outside of the body, the hip. Mm -hmm. Right, the the hip goes in here a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is this is better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So good impression. 那这个里面的话呢，可以看到这个弯转的过程中，它的 hip， 它的这个这个，呃。胯部哈是更加靠里的，这里也会有一个更好的一个表现。Feet together here, okay. 脚是更早。嗯。Now this is a this is an easier slope, and there's some good things going on here. So what we want to do is we want to take it up to the steeper slope, and see if we can get that same movement pattern going, the same crossover going on the steeper slope. 嗯，这个是一个比较简单的，这个就是比较缓的一个坡哈。那么他想要做的就是，如果能够到陡坡上，看看是同样的这个运动的这个模式，还有同样的这个这个滑行，是不是还可以在那个里面啊 ？Okay, so this is、uh, Lorraine, and this is、um, done inside this video is a little bit.、Uh, hi, Lorraine. Good morning. Uh, um, sorry, Otto. Sorry, uh, Lorraine got the new video today, so I upload a new video. So maybe okay. you can check the new one. Uh, okay, it's well, in this one the here. same Google file. Sure, that you sent me this morning. Because if you did, uh, I, I will. Yeah. I I will take a we'll take a look at this, but the, I'm going to use this one now. Um, because we've got it, I've got it handy here. But one thing I just want to say, and this is this is to Lorraine and, and others, and this is again, if I'm going to go to my impression first. Now Lorraine's on a steeper slope, and steeper slopes make it much more difficult. It's the degree of guilt difficulty going up, right? It's like, you know, instead of doing one backflip, it's like doing three backflips. So.、Uh, 那这里面会谈到一个学友叫 Lorraine 的滑行，那么这个这个、更陡一些。那么 Otto 也会从印象开始来分析他的滑行 impression。Okay, so if I look at the impression, it's big round turns first, right? 首先这是一个大弯儿哈，我们能看到。Okay. Okay, so that's that's all I that's all I need to say. It's 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 big round turns. So let's let's first off let's change the turn shape, and instead of instead of using you know uh, uh, we're we're using three quarters of this run, let's use less than half of this run. Okay, because what happens sometimes is when we when we make our turns, unless we're going fast, right at this speed. We can have something that that is a little bit more rhythmical, and then if I、uh, another impression that I make is、um, if Lorraine is is Lorraine moving a lot or is she moving a little, right? And so when I say moving, just any moving where it's up or down or or lateral or in or turning, because there's so much time, there's little movement associated with that, right? So. With ski, with skiers, we want to see movement all the time. Okay. 
Now, so like right in here, Lorraine, right here, again, this, you know, it, now, now I look at the impression and we've got some things we can change with the impression, but if I look at the technical side, I see some, some good things going on here, Lorraine, since the last time I've, uh, I saw you. Um, draw here we go so again i see uh, a nice curve here on, on the outside okay beautiful did you want to talk about that lynn oh uh <laughs> <laughs> our job i know you're concentrating sorry sorry uh Otto. i just got incoming call and uh, Tom just want to remind you, she created a shared drive. And yes, there I, been, I saw that. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. I'll come. And there, are, there are some updated <clears throat> video there, and she filed it with a name and their you know, skiing targets. So just want to remind you of that. And yeah, just sorry. Uh, yeah. Go back. I'm, not, I'm not sure I have that. We'll see. I'll, I'll, there's a few things I looked at today. Um, I, got, mm -hmm. I have a lot of videos, so I'll. Yeah. So, uh, back to Tong. Tong, if you want to give Otto to explain, it's like this. He needs to give it to him. Because he opened it from the computer. Then, if it's in WeChat, he doesn't know how to turn the phone off. Uh, so, you check the video to give it to him. Okay. 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 都放在同一个 folder 里面，就是在 Lauren 寄给他的那个邮件的那个 folder， 我全部放在里面。在 Lauren 的那个邮件里面有这样的一个链接，是吧？对，就是我传在群里面的链接跟 Lauren 寄给 Otto 的链接是同一个，因为我让他放的、嗯。明白了，那我知道了，我会给他提醒一下，好吗？好的，谢谢。嗯，好，谢谢，谢谢。呃，你刚才听到他讲的了吗？因为我我我刚才有点分神。Sorry. Yeah. Alex, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's hard. Alex. Lynn, it's hard like in the, when I'm in the middle of a, a, a video conference like this to actually go and search for for other videos. Um, I understand. Like I, I, I prepare these videos and I have to download them to my computer and that takes time. And then uh, it's, it's better if I review them in advance. So like all these videos I, I spent. Uh, yeah yesterday last night looking at them so that i know what i'm talking about here so you know i can go through those videos later and i can always send some notes to uh to learn um no, no problem but i think there's some good things here so she should be happy about what she sent me mm -hmm. okay uh auto so with, with with Lorraine too, what I what I really uh, like is if I if I look at her, I see that her her feet are side by side at this point, and mm -hmm. the skis are parallel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from a technical perspective, you know Lorraine's in a nice position. Uh, if we saw her bend just a little bit more, that would help the skis turn. And if we make all these movements, um, Lorraine just needs to be challenged a little bit more. Okay. 更大的一个反攻吧，这样能够让他的这个滑行更加有动感。Sometimes when when Lorraine uh, when you go so slow, uh, right here because you go so slow, it's hard to switch edges, and there's a little step right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and we would try we would try to eliminate that because you're going basically straight across the hill. 那因为速度不够的话呢，所以在这个里面就有一些一些迟滞，所以导致它的这个就是啊、呃、转换重心的时候的话呢，有些分开。Okay, here's another one. I think this is uh, looks like it's in Hokkaido. This looks like it's in Hokkaido. So uh, sometimes we can be again critical of skiing, but I always like to say, okay, what uh, what are some of the things that I like here? And again, when I when I look at this, I see. Yeah, he said we may have been very picky, but here there are many very beautiful things. In this situation, he also drew a straight line. Okay, so when I like this here, I see uh, again angu some some good angulation. Right, so a curve, and, and we see that the body, the body is、um, facing down the hill. 嗯，那这个里面可以有很好的反攻，他的身体的话呢，也是面向山下。And we see the skis facing towards us. 那雪板是往这个方向运动。And what that shows me is upper and lower body separation. 上下身的分离也很好。Right, so the 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 legs the legs are turned. Ah,、uh, so this leg, he he is still turning his head. This uh this hand is starting to come out for a good pole plant. This hand is left a little little bit behind, and this leaves his shoulder a little bit on the on the weak side. So the weight ends up being a little bit back here. 嗯，那可以看到左手他在点账的时候的话呢是非常好的。但右手的话呢，稍稍有点错后，也会拉着他的右肩有些错后，这个使得他的重心呢，呃，是在刚才画的最后的这个绿点的这个位置上，重心是在这个位置。What what this、um, does is This is this is a good crossover. This is a very good crossover. This is a very good crossover. So right, right here. Um, that is also a very good position. But what happened at this point? If I look, and this is this is great for us to understand. Some sometimes we think we have to have a lot of shin pressure or or、uh, pressure on the front of the boots.、Uh -huh. The the pressure here is, is right, but, but right here on the foot, right? So it's、mm. it's to the to the back of the arch. 嗯，那它这个里面的话，我们也会提到过，就是血呃小腿跟血蛇前沿的这样的一个呃一个压力的建立哈。可在这一个瞬间的话，我们可以看得到，他的这个重心的话呢，是在这个脚弓的后沿，也就是他画圈的这个地方。Uh, when I look at the impression of the skier, okay, okay, we have we have good rhythm. 嗯，这个滑雪者的这个印象的话，我们可以看得到他的韵律非常好，节奏好。When I watch, sometimes right here. 那当我看有些时候在这个地方。Let's go again. 嗯，我们再回放一下哈。Okay, so this is really, really, uh, it's it's minor. But if I if I again if I look at the feet, and this is where I I kind of go to, 
and this this is uh, it's quite a small small picture. So sometimes when we, if you're videoing and you want to analyze, it's better if you can get the skier to be at least about a third to half the size of the screen. So if I look at the stance here and if I look at the lower leg, the, the tib fib area of the leg, you notice that the feet are a little bit wider or one's a little bit behind the other one. And when the outside foot is slightly, slightly behind, it, it doesn't bend and it doesn't absorb the terrain, right? Or, or I need to soften to cross over. So uh, I get a little bit of um, either the legs shoot out or I, I pop up. And here sometimes the legs kind of quickly move ahead at, at crossover and it's very hard to see it at full speed, but you can see, see the white space in the legs. 那在这个里面来看的话呢，我们可以看得到它的山下腿，尤其是就是右脚吧，有一些滞后，所以因为这个滞后，它在重心转换的时候，它要往上窜一下，踢跳一下，才能够实现这个重心转换。这是一个方法
，停顿，然后再往前走，停顿，再往前走。那它滑行的路线的话呢，是这种 zipper lie， 就拉链式的滑法。嗯，那么在这个里面，就是拉链式其实是最有挑战的了哈。所以它这个在评估蘑菇的时候，它也要看它的流畅度。那么对于这个滑行者的话呢，可能如果到一个相对缓一点的或没那么有挑战的蘑菇里面再来看，这种拉链式滑法也可能会更有意义。嗯。Um, so, uh, in this in this terrain, zipper lines are really really hard. Um, and the zip the zipper line is is uh, it's kind of following. You can see this uh, pathway. Kind of goes down, right like that. 在这种路线上的话呢，拉链式滑法是非常非常有挑战的。当你来看这个拉链式滑法的话呢，它画了条绿线哈，那这就是它在走的这些路线。And and in that in that route, it's very uh very hard to turn the skis. The skis there's a certain pathway that skis have to go at, and it's very difficult. To uh, edge of the skis, where you can control uh, the turn shape and control the speed, and then control your rhythm direction. Those things are all very difficult. 嗯，在这种情况下的话呢，无论是你想控制你的这个弯形啊，还有速度啊，呃，或者力热啊，这些都非常难的。So my route that I would try to change would be to go over back side of the mogul here. And then, right in this area here, right, you see this. This is quite smooth. This whole backside is quite smooth. And I can turn the skis, and I can slide slide down the backside, and、mm -hmm. it's it's a lot smoother. And that's where I can control my my speed a little bit better. And then I can prepare for the next turn. So then I'd come over and I'd turn down this side here. Okay. So that's the that's more the route that I would. Choose to take. 那在路线选择上的话呢，他会更倾向于呢，从刚才他画的这个包外侧去转。这个包的外侧的话呢，可以看得到有更好的。Heather. 而且的话 ，Hello, can you hear me? Hey, Otto. Yeah. 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 在这个路线选择的时候，他会从那个包面那边转完了之后，这个里面的话，无论是你是在那边去呃搓雪啊，或者是去滑行啊，都是更好的速度控制。Okay, so um again, you know, this uh, skiers having a challenge in these in these moguls, and the first thing is it's the The, the how steep the terrain is and the route, but if I want to look at technique, and sometimes technique is a result of of what we're skiing, the the first thing I do is I look at okay how is the the stance, and we we looked at this earlier,、uh, and if I look at the legs, right the lower legs here, I look at this leg is like this, and this leg is like this. And then I have I have the space in between the feet. 嗯，那这个当然这个是一个非常非常有挑战的模糊哈，无论是地形啊，还有他选择的路线。那么在分析这个滑行者的时候的话呢，可以还是来用一些技术来分析哈。首先看的是站姿，那么站姿的话，他画了这两条线，可以看到他的这个腿的这个呃状态。嗯。Then um. You know, this is good to keep up. What、uh, what we find here is that if this is the、uh, if this is the center of mass or the center of the body, 嗯，我们来看的话呢，这个是它的这个重心所在。That's the center of mass. That weight, if I come bring it straight down onto that outside ski,、mm. lends up in front of the ski on the on the outside ski ends up in front of the foot, so it's too far forward. Okay, yeah. 
And then uh, the skier, skier breaks at the waist here, bends forward. Okay, do you want to explain that, Lynn? And did you get that? Yeah. 那这个里面的话，它如果说画一个重心的话呢，可以看得到是第一条朝下的这个重心啊所在的地方。呃，然后它又画了一个水平线，这个水平线的话是它的一个运动的方向。呃，so uh, the second line, the vertical line is uh, uh, yeah, the, the second the second line is because the weight because of the weight so far on the foot, the legs don't bend, but the the person's upper body bends at the waist. Okay. 嗯，那它是因为它的这个脚比较宽，所以它在整个弯的时候的话呢，它是从腰这边去去去打打弯的，因为我们都知道，其实我们的angulation是应该从hip，它这里讲它其实导致从腰这边来进行的一个一个弯
。呃，刚才我们讨论了一下，呃，彭其实收集到了很多的 video， 也在网上建立了一个 folder， 非常好的做了一个整理。但是呢，因为 Otto 需要，昨天他已经看了很多东西了哈，他有他的一个讲解的 strategy， 所以呢，我们会考虑跟他再约一个时间，然后把更多的视频我们拿来做讲解。那么接下来的话呢，他他也是说，他说，哎，其实通过视频，通过翻译讲有有有局限的，大家如果一起来滑行的话，能够讲的更多。那么接下来这这段视频的话呢，是 Alex 的滑行视频，他是说他会找一些哎，呃，不同滑行水平的、室内的、室外的，然后不同弯行的来进讲解。其实更多的是为了呃，考虑到所有听众的一些感受吧。但是，从之前收集的那些东西、一些内容的话呢，我们，呃，今天未必都能够涵盖得了哈。我们可能找时间再来看。从一再六个，再说，可以吗？嗯。OK， 好,好。So、yeah, I hear probably Heidi is not a little bit not loud. But... <laughs> Chile, Chufalo. Well, Lynn, do you want me to talk some more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just for all the audience, uh, just just our students, just if you don't speak, please type in the chat area. Because I'm doing the translation, so it's hard to do the management of the recording. Then Tom and Alex, I gave you two people's co-share time. 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 Co-share I don't know where this is. This looks like uh, uh, um, maybe uh, China someplace. It's really, it still looks really good. Is it in Wanlong? Is it in Wanlong? No? No. Alex, no, this is where you're going. Alex, you're going to go where? Kekotohai, the Huilan. Oh, it's Kekotohai. It's in Xinjiang. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Papa? All right, so... Um, you know, here let's let's look at uh, let's first look at the impression, right? Let's look at uh, we're we're going to look at you know speed, energy, turn shape, and rhythm. Okay, obviously, uh, we we have a wide open slope, and we have bigger turns. 就是宽的雪道和很大大弯。Look at look at the time spent in the turn and the time spent going across the hill. You can see that it's the time spent in the turn and the time spent going across the hill. Okay. Okay. So, let's see if you can see that. See my turn on a piece of paper there. Okay. Can everybody see that? Now I'm going to do this. And you see in the middle here where I've I've done this. So this part, we're spending a lot of time doing nothing, going across the hill, and we're spending this. You know, this is the time that is exciting. Now, if I just continue the turn down here. 那我们可以看得到，在转弯的这个就弯跟弯衔接的过程中的话呢，我们好像什么都没有做，而在这个弯的过程中，我们会觉得蛮蛮兴奋的。Right, then I then I would have a lot of energy. So instead of going all the way over here and then making a turn, we can just eliminate this flat section in the turn and link this turn right away into that next turn. 
and our impression would already be better. And it's just yeah. about having, you know, just a bit of um, uh, foresight to do that. And, and uh, you know, it's attacking the hill and it takes more energy. 嗯，那它在这个弯的时候的话呢，中间就是那段不动的地方，我们就把它降低，我们能够就是从一个弯到另外一个弯，这样看起来的话呢，会感觉到更加的呃令人兴奋，而且有更多的这种啊能量的这种
small indications of this are um, this this hand is is back here, and this hand is kind of coming forward. The upper body has a has a has a twist or a turn, and the upper body is, is leading this way, and it's a slightly ahead on this foot. This foot is slightly behind the other foot. 嗯，那这里面另外一个很重要的一个呃观察点呢，就是在于他的右侧的手呃有点滞后了，左侧的手呢就有点靠前，那么左侧的肩膀。啊，他也是往前走了。那么这里面其实可以看得到，他其实是用来补偿他的这个，呃，左侧的脚，其实左侧的外脚有些滞后了。啊，这是，这是在看这一帧的时候的点。So this, so this is a, this is a good skier, and this is a good snow. The, and these are small, small little things. Overall, the impression is good. But I think if we can tighten the radius up, make it quick. We're going to get uh, a much more exciting uh, turn shape. 嗯，那这是一个非常好的滑雪者哈，然后这雪况也很不错。那么总体的滑行非常好。那么如果能够把这个弯再再 tighten 再紧凑一点，那这样的话就可以很好的让让他滑的更加 exciting， 更加有有有更加人兴奋。So see this one, and so the pause between the turns. 嗯，这里面可以看得到，在弯跟弯之间有一个很很短暂的一个停滞哈。I know, I know, I'm taking up a, a lot of your time this morning. We're going over. We got a couple more here. 嗯，他说他占大家时间了，但是他还有些可以愿意讲的。So let's try and, and go through. I got, uh, I got another one here. The skier. So if we look at that overall objective again, we first look at the overall objective. We see like a big long traverse again. Good turn, and then a long traverse. Big turn and a long traverse. So very similar. Um, the other skier was more of an expert skier, going much faster, uh, and this skier just a little bit slower. Where's this? This looks like it's good, good skiing too. 嗯，那可以看得到这个这个的话呢，就是他在一个转的时候的话呢，中间有衔接的过程中有点长。嗯。它跟上一个滑雪者的这个，当然速度会不一样哈。那个滑雪者滑得更快更好，但是呢，它的这个呈现的这个改进点啊，也是在弯跟弯之间的衔接上。So let's get rid of the snowboarder. Okay, so um, if I look here, the impression was that there's a again a, a large traverse or a, a bit of time in the middle of the run, and then a turn, and then another turn. And like like last uh, time, if if I look here, see the upper body. Is starting to turn, and the head is starting to to look where they're going to go, and the feet are still going off to the side. They're still going that way, right? So the body is turning first before the feet have turned. 嗯，那我们看得到哈，它的这个为什么会导致弯跟弯之间有这么长时间的这种转弯呢？那这是一针里面可以看得到，它的这个上半身，它的头已经转向下一个要转弯的了，而它的雪板的话呢，还是在向那个外边走。那么这里面就展示出来的话呢，它的这个并不是用这个雪板来开始的这样一个弯，就好像说我们刚才说的，要用轮子开始，不是车身开始去转。
as, as a result, I get the body twisting and turning like this. Right? You can see that's first. And then it, it makes it hard for the, the feet. You know, the skis are uneven and the legs are a little bit uneven. And if I was patient, if I just, if I just, as I was going across the hill, if I just stood up and I, if I turned both feet together, right, then it would make a smoother turn. And then I would keep my feet underneath me because everything, everything leads from the feet, the feet, and then one turn, and then one turn, and I could eliminate some of that flat spot in between. 嗯，那因为就是他上身先往这边转了，其实这个腿就相对锁死。他想看到的目标就是说这两条腿呢，就是他同时去转。我们再稍稍有一点点耐心，然后让这个腿转了之后的话呢，身体就才才带过来的话呢，这就会使得这个弯更加的丝滑。Oops. Here we go. All right, so you go across the hill, flat spot. You see a bit of a split in the legs. Kind of bouncing, 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 flat, flat, flat to turn, and the upper upper body tends to turn a little bit. 嗯，可以看得到他的这个血管有些分开了哈，也能看得到他在这个呃这个 bouncing, bouncing, bouncing， 然后再转啊，中间的这个停滞。And here is our、uh, last gear. Is this in、uh, Xinjiang province? This looks good. 今天这也是讲解最后一段了哈，这个是在新疆的这个视频吗？看着挺不错的，雪。Take me there。嗯，他说大家要把他带去。Okay, so here now, what do you think of the impression？ 那这里面的印象是怎样的呢 ？Okay。这是万峰冰面，也是在可可托海，对吗 ，Alex? Quite. See, see, this is different. So again,、um, this is the same skier that was、uh, um, doing the big turns, right? But now we're doing the short turns.、Mm -hmm. And when we sometimes short short turns are a very good foundation for building good technique because we we. Consciously, are making the decision to have one turn right into the next, so we don't、mm. have that flat spot. Ah,、mm. uh, so Otto, this is the、uh, uh, Jilin. It's not、uh, Xinjiang. Ah,、uh, <laughs> this, this is where is this? Jilin, ah,、uh, Wanfeng. Yeah. So, ah,、uh, it's in Jilin Province. It's actually ah、uh, the north part of、uh, Beijing. Ah,、uh, I think it's in between Beijing and Harbin. Oh, very, very nice. He said this water is very good. That just now he said this is also the skier that was doing the big turns. That skier is big. 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 That It's this、um, this format is is different. Sorry, it's difficult for me to、uh, pause it where I want to.、Um, the way it came on my video screen, I I'm having difficulty to get. Oh, here we go. Now I can do that. There we go. Sorry. But nice. So here, okay.、Uh, if This part of the turn is really nice, right here.、Um, you know, if, I, if I look at the feet, the feet are side by side.、Uh, 
the feet are side by side, and one is not further in front of the other. They're, they're very close together. 看这个腿的话呢，腿并腿并的非常好，他们是并排的，而且没有一条腿明显比另外一个腿靠前或者靠后。嗯。So we end up with a a real solid stance, which allows us to control the speed and the direction of, of the skis. Uh, what what is starting to happen a little bit is same as in, as in the long term. Is the upper body is it doesn't have much time here because the next turn is going to start, but the upper body is starting to lead、um, the turning effort. 那它这个里这样的一个一个滑行姿态的话呢，其实是给这个滑水者一个非常好的一个一个站姿，那可能更好的去调整方向啊，调整速度啊。但是这个的话呢，跟在大弯里面这个滑行者有一个类似的一个呃问题出现，就是说呃，在有些场合他是用上半身再去试图往下转。The inside inside hand here starts to drop, and the outside hand、uh, and shoulder start to turn in, in the same same direction. So the, the upper body is starting to lead a little bit of that turning effort. 那在这一点上的话，我们可以看得到内侧的这个呃手的话呢是往下掉的，而外侧的手的话呢有点靠前，而且靠上。那么这就展示出来的话呢，它在一定程度上在用。他的上半身转的比腿要快了。Okay. And it's, it's it's a bit tricky again with this format. I'll do my best here. 嗯，这个这个视频模式的话呢，使它操作起来有些难度，它会尽量的去找到合适的点来讲解。You know, it's, again, it's a good skier, but it sometimes、um, things happen really quickly. 嗯，这是一个非常好的滑雪者哈，但是有些时候就在很瞬间发生的事情啊，会导致一些这个滑行的结果嘛。Okay. So, ah,、uh, the sequence of events. The、um, when when I start leading with、uh, the shoulders of the upper body. My weight gets a little bit forward, and ankles are bent a little bit too much. 嗯，那在这个时候的话呢，嗯、呃，因为我我想用上身去转，所以我的重心的话呢，有点这个靠前了。那脚踝这边的这个弯曲就会太多，过多。And and that that happened right at the very end of the turn, very quickly. There, I just walked through that very very quick. It's minor. It's really small. The weight was on the ball of the foot. The ankle was bent too much, and then I I can't、uh, absorb some of the pressure and allow the mass to move across. 嗯，那这个里面如果脚踝弯的太多了的话呢，那没有办法让我去吸收呃更大的压力啊、呃，这样呃就是吸收更大的压力。那那。这个其实也是很短的一个瞬间哈，然后只是一点点的这么一个一个，就是不完美的地方。嗯。The um when I look here, and this you have to look closely at this、uh, video because、uh, it's so small relative to、uh, where we are, but.、Mm-hmm. Um, when, when I can't absorb the pressure, the body gets pushed up, right? So the skier right now is quite、uh, tall. All the all the joints they're not bent. All the joints are straight. So the skier the skier is quite tall this way. 嗯，那就在这个过程中的话呢，就是因为他刚才讲的脚踝锁死了嘛。那为了实现重心转换，他觉得这个站姿的话要要相对高一些啊，就相对要高，在这一瞬间。And then, for, for a moment, the skier becomes、um, off balance and unstable. They move up, and then, right now, the skier's weight went from too far forward to too far back. So the skier is is back here. Okay. So, 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 so,
之前过于靠前，现在变靠后了，所以它的重心现在是在脚后跟的那个位置上。Um, and then, so in in this moment of time, when the skier should be crossing o- over the ski, the skier should be going from one side to the next. They're a little bit back, and they start they start to turn a little bit with the upper body, and this is indicated by、um, inside ski. See there, is turning more than. The new outside ski. 嗯，那这个的话呢，我是怎么看出来的？是因为我们可以看得到它的内，就是呃内侧雪板的方向是现在这个方向，然后外侧雪板的方向呢是往另外一个方向，所以就是在这一瞬间可以看得到它的这个重心啊滞、呃、后了。So. When I when I get this、uh, in, inverted V, it just means that some of the upper body is rotating, and it, it comes from that、um, the back of the last turn where I wasn't able to absorb some of that pressure. 那这个里面，当出现这个 V 的形状的话呢，就表示其实我是用上身在转。那么这个现象之所以产生，是因为在上一个弯里面的话呢，它的重心有点太太压前了。Right. Now. Um, I, I am being, I'm being me. I'm being really, really picky. I hope this helps. <laughs> 就说我我其实是有点太挑剔了哈，但是希望这样的一个反馈能够帮助大家进步。Because I think if we look at the skier, right, in in this, it's it's only a eight second video clip, but if we look right at the impression, there's there's some small technical things. But the overall impression is, if I look at this, I go, "Oh, that catches my eye. Oh, that, that looks nice." Right. But why do you say it's a bit picky? That is, if we look at the skier's overall skier pose, he will say, "Oh, it's very attractive. It looks very good." He thinks that's why he is a bit picky. These small, these small little changes in the movement pattern. Will make it smoother from turn to turn. So if you watch the skis through this, there's a little bit of a bobble between turns. They they kind of whoop whoop versus smooth smooth smooth. So those little changes will help make that these good turns. You know these are these are great turns. They just make them that much better. 对，就是说在这一点点的这个小的改动的话呢，就可以调整它这个这里面的卡顿的情况。可以是让它更加的丝滑。Okay,、um, I know I didn't get to everybody's video.、Uh, this has been、uh, I think that's the last one we'll do. I said that was the last one. Stop share. 嗯，他说他好像并没有讲完所有的视频哈。我们也会再考虑再安排时间。然后他说。Uh, 还有一点点他要去分享的。Um, hey, I want to I want to thank everybody for coming out again. I see a, a number of people I know. Hua, hi Hua, how are you? I saw your name on there. Um, 就是对他说看到一些熟悉的这个名字哈，然后呢，那个对，其实大家现在我们讲座完了，如果乐意可以打开麦，打开视频啊，对，其实他很愿意跟我们。有这样真正的沟通和对话。嗯。Um, I, um, Lynn, why don't we do another one sometime? Let me know, and if we can, if we can gather、uh, in one place uh, uh, the videos, and I think we should probably just do like one or two each. That way, I can get through maybe some more、uh, more people. Um, but hey, I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing people on the snow with Jasper. He said, "Uh, we can consider doing a video presentation. Then, he may give each video a video. So, if you have more than one video, you can talk more to each other. Then, we can talk more to each other. Then, we can talk more to each other. Then, we can talk more to each other. I hope I hope that helped. Did that help? 
、呃，希望这对大家能有帮助哈。你觉得有帮助吗？Okay, so, ah, that that 接下来的话呢，我会跟童和 Alex 一起再商量一下，怎么再做一期下期的视频讲解。那么在这个过程中，关于这个营训练，如果有什么问题的话呢，大家也可以在这个微信群里面呢，那个呃，就是提出来，然后我也会去整理啊，然后看看有什么办法来回复这样的一个问题。那总体来讲的话呢。Otto 是一个非常好的这个教练，我觉得我们能够找到他真的是很幸运。很多人在 Whistler 很多年都没有机会跟他一起去训练，嗯，那我们今年四月份能够跟他在一起非常好。那么整个安排的话呢，是叫 High Performance Camp， 更多的是帮大家提高的。在这个基础上，他会 Otto 会找到最好的教练团队。在这个基础上，大家如果有什么想法的话呢，我们可以支持定制。我会在这期间做一些 facilitation， 但是需要有足够的人数参加和足够的 commitment。好比说，如果要加一个二级考试、三级考试，或者是 AST whatever， 我们需要提早呃向 CSA 申请啊，是这样的一个情形。那么其他的 logistic 安排，关于住宿。呃，关于交通、关于雪票的话呢，因为我相信大家都是走南闯北的，我们可以互相间 help each other。那么在这个地方的话呢，更多的是作为一个公益的，互相间分享、互相间支持。所以这个我想定义不是一个旅行团啊、呃，我自己也并不是做这个旅游服务的。那我在这个里面也想支持 Auto， 支持学友，但是我们。呃，有些事情的话呢，大家要互相间呃找资源，互相间支持。也希望呢，在这方面有经验、有资源的学友可以站出来啊、呃，就给大家提供这样的一个便利。嗯，那么接下来的话呢，那个我们三个，我跟 Alex 和这个呃童也会看怎么能够更好的支持到，就是来自大陆、来自香港、来自台湾的学友哈。来进行这样的一个旅程啊啊，我们也会再有继续的这个视频讲解的这个呃机会，我会在群里公告。那么关于群的二维码的话呢，我现在这个手头技术上有些问题，但是你们可以加我的这个微信啊，然后我会到时候再把大家拉到加我和童，还有这个就你们从哪里拿到信息的吧，都可以找找到他们，然后让他们拉你到这个群里面去，好吧？谢谢 Lynn for、uh, all your work. I'm happy. I feel so happy talking about skiing and sharing our passion. That's really awesome. So, so this is the end of、uh, today's session, and、uh, I hope to see you guys in Jasper in April. 那今天我们就到此为止了哈。然后的话呢，我们希望四月份在这个 Jasper 和和跟大家见面。Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you so much. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you, Arthur. My honor. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye.